Hey, this is Justin back with an engineer's perspective. And I get asked here and there what my thoughts are on uh, comfort grip. Comfort grip being uh, generally related to the Knipex because most of my videos are about Knipex. But for those that aren't initiated, it's this style of handle here where you can see, let's find the other Cobras here they are. So you can see the standard Cobras have this dip handle, and then these ones here have the comfort grip. And generally the comfort grips are five to ten dollars more in that range. So not a ton, but you know, it's usually well over a 10% price increase. So it's it's worth talking about. Um, and because I get asked it a lot, I wanted to make a video to address it. And you can see. I've got quite a few uh, Knipex Comfort Grip. I've got Channel Lock's version of it. They call it Code Blue, or I don't know what Channel Lock calls it, but I, you know, I've got a few of theirs, their versions of it. So obviously I have something going on there. But what I personally find is that almost never do I need comfort grip because the dip handles cause pain? That's not really a thing that I ever run into. Um, one thing that's refreshing with actual tools like this versus like a Leatherman or a Victorinox in this case is that the handles are usually carefully considered with the job at hand, uh, their length and their size. And they match up well. So I have have felt pain from wrenching on things so hard, but it is extremely uncommon. And uh, yeah, it's if you are worried about having pain in your hands from wrenching on things, it's just not a thing. You do not need to buy comfort grip because of that. Um, yeah, I mean, there's just just all like these are big freaking wrenches. You know, these 240 millimeter linesmen, these are big tools that you can put a ton of force on and it doesn't hurt your hand. So no worries there. Um, so if that's what you're worried about, pass. It's don't do it. It's not worth it because there is a downside to these and that number one thing being cost, but also bulk. If you're storing these in a bag, uh, like a tool tool bag or whatever it is like this is going to take up more space especially if you start having a whole bunch of these i mean look at how much room that takes up versus like you know three dipped handles granted the linesmen's are freaking thick boys but you know i mean there's probably a good half inch of difference there so uh, so you, I think you got to be careful about it unless you're just playing and toting around one tool, uh, where it doesn't matter. Like if you just have one tool on you all day, like if you're going to EDC these things, probably just get the comfort grips. Maybe, I mean, they take up more space in your pocket, so you wouldn't know, but safe than sorry. I don't know, but there's generally no advantage to it. So the question is, why do I have so many then? Uh, well, the reason why I have it in these ones is $5 more, and I was just like, I want it. But also, uh, is uh, kind of in this vein, and this one here. So, with these very long uh, pliers, you have a way less handle per length of grabbing, so to say, so to speak. So you can see that the ratio of grabbing and cutting on linesmen's is insane. You know, you've got like an inch and a half versus like eight inches. Whereas on pliers like these, you know, they're almost half handle, meaning you can't get that much leverage. And these ones don't hurt, but they can be kind of annoying. And these ones in particular, if you're trying to use these as linesmen's, you really need to crank down. And I wanted something that I could really get some booty behind. So that's why I chose these ones specifically. Um, honestly, these were the only ones in the store because I wanted the uh, the E three eighteens, and they only came in the the code blue handles. So that's what I got. 
but I much prefer these channel locks to these uh, Knipex for a couple reasons, not important. So that's a good example of that. Um, these ones up here, I just wanted to try it out. I, I don't like it on either of these. They become way, 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 way too bulky. So I, I don't mind on the linesmen's, hate it on the dykes, but I don't really like these dykes very much. I like these linesmen's, but yeah, I, I wouldn't do it on them again. Um, I like it on these guys just because they're pretty small and I don't know, they're just comfortable and I just like them. I don't know, but let's talk about the Cobras. So, I mean, I've used all the sizes of Cobras very extensively for a very long time and they are probably my single favorite pliers, but, uh, recently ripped out, uh, about a thousand square feet of carpet, maybe like 1200 square feet of carpet. And, uh, pulled up all the staples afterwards and then screwed down all the, the f subfloor again because it was squeaking. So, you know, like over a thousand screws, all that good jazz. And between the, the ripping, the tearing, pulling up the staples, the screwing, my hands that used to work, you know, daily with pliers in hand, with wrenches in hand, and that had all of that great callusing, they are soft desk jockey hands now. And uh, particularly this texturing, in amongst all that other work that I did in, you know, the span of, yeah, cause I worked like two 16 hours, or not, yeah, 16 straight hours. Like not, I was awake for 16 hours, I was working for 16 hours for two days straight. Um, my hands were raw. I could not, I was just, oh God, it was bad didn't want to touch this anymore. Um, so what I really wanted to get away was from that texturing, which the comfort grip has, but also I felt like in that same situation, uh, this would have not bothered my hands nearly as much. And even with gloves, like I just, they were so raw. So the situation is if you all of a sudden, do you know like me where you're a DIYer at this point in your life and you just do a huge project like that then these can be the thing to do I think that would justify it because if you're like me you've got soft hands and when you approach a giant project like that these are gonna wear you out and that's where they're probably worth it so for the professionals I can't speak for them really but you know, I, I just never had a problem with it when I was turning wrenches professionally. So I didn't ever see the, the worth of it. Uh, I think in the shorter handles, it makes sense. And I think for the DIYer that does do really big projects, just, you know, here and there, they might be worth it also. But for, you know, you just use them a good amount here and there, or if you, even if you use them a little bit every single day, if they're probably still not worth it. I mean, I still feel like there is an advantage to the, the dip handles. I still love them. I definitely prefer the dip handles on my linesmen's and on the dykes. Um, I couldn't see any reason to get a comfort grip in that. I personally don't think I want a comfort grip in my pliers wrenches because I've never had the pain. Same with these. Never actually had pain with uh, slip joint pliers either, so, you know, yeah, I already talked about those, so that's, that's my long-winded video on thoughts on comfort grip, whether or not they are needed in those situations, so that's all I've got today. Have a good one. Bye.